Hey, it's me, Quinn, uh, Stray Photo with StrayPhoto.com. Um, I want to take a minute today and do another bag review. This is one of the bags I've hesitated to review for a long time because it's one of my favorites and it's actually almost always full of gear. It's the uh, Patagonia MLC or Maximum Legal Carry On. Um, they've got this in two different versions right now. This is a little bit older and then they've come out with this almost just recently in the last season or so with this uh, MLC and the Trucker Tarp version, um, the Black Hole version. And I've had a lot of fun with these bags. I think they're some of the best bags I've ever owned. And uh, anyway, let's jump into the review. All right, here we're back. Today we're talking about the uh, Patagonia MLC. The MLC comes in two versions, the black hole version and the headway version. Um, I've been using these bags a lot. I've been a little bit hesitant to review them because they're almost always full of stuff. I travel a little bit for work and so these are always kind of my go-to bags. I've got them always filled up with either a shaving kit or some stuff ready to go. Um, they're rarely empty. Anyway, I've wanted to take a look at them for a long time. I also haven't wanted to come across as kind of a Patagonia fanboy. I have been using Patagonia stuff for quite a while. It's my earliest Patagonia catalog is the spring of 84. And then uh, I've even got this uh, the fall of 86 catalog that was autographed when I met Yvonne Chouinard. So I hate to come across as biased in my review. So before I review it, let me just go ahead and say that I do own a lot of Patagonia clothing. Um, quite a phenomenal amount. Anyway, let's jump into the review. So in these uh, two Patagonia MLCs, you've got one that's made of a ballistic nylon and one that's made of a ripstop nylon. The uh, black hole one is has kind of become my favorite more than anything because I can just throw it in the back of my truck and it can snow on it and it seems, if not waterproof, at least pretty water resistant. Um, the beauty of the MLC bags is in the title, the maximum little carry-on, they fit um, airline industry standards. They're about 24 by 16. They're both 45 liters. Um, I think the idea goes clear back to uh, have this ancient Patagonia bag that was called the underseat gear bag and this was made to fit underneath the airline seat in front of you. And uh, I think I bought this in 1990. I still have it, it still works great, I love it, it's a good bag. Um, if anything, that's a testament to the uh, usefulness of the Patagonia bags. I have thousands and thousands of miles in the back of my truck this bag is spent and it looks, I mean, virtually brand new and I think I bought this in either late 90 or early 1991. So from the underseat gear bag, they went to the MLC and this is an MLC from the middle 2000s. And I actually like this one quite a bit. I have this one, I probably bought this in 2000 five or so. And this has kind of this floating flap thing that holds your clothes down and in, and it's a pocket that you can actually access and put stuff in. And you have to clip it down here. And then you cinch it down to hold your clothes in place. And that wasn't a bad idea. It still had some of the outside pockets are pretty similar even in the new design. Um, then the same with the shoulder straps that hide away in the back of the bag. these tuck away for when you're not using them. I've always really enjoyed that about these bags. I've had a couple other bags that try and mimic the design of the MLC from Patagonia and they've all fallen pretty short. I did a review of the uh, Nomadic bag, the one bag or whatever they had on Kickstarter. And I know everybody raves about that bag and they love it, but I, as far as it compared to the Patagonia, somebody would ask me in the comments and I would always have picked the Patagonia over that Nomadic one. It wasn't a bad bag, it just wasn't quite as good as the Patagonia one. I have this um, other Topo Designs one that is essentially the same type of idea, um, a maximum legal carry-on size. This is an early version of it. I think that now you can't hide the shoulder straps, but in the beginning you couldn't. And the other problem I had with this was that when you opened it all the way up, it didn't lie flat. There was just four inches at the bottom of the bag that you just, I always felt like I was really trying to reach to get into there. And the MLC is, better than that. It lays totally flat when you open it up. Um, that's one of the really, that's one of the, I think one of the key features of it. So when I load this guy up, now on the interior you've got a zipper here that takes the place of that floating mesh panel and I like that a lot. You've got two more interior pockets that didn't exist in the old version and I think that's actually a, a good upgrade. On the outside you've still got the same, what has been the same for almost 20 years now, 
this uh, upper pocket. And this has a little bit more office style organizing stuff. You know, a little cell phone pocket and some mesh pockets. Um, I can't speak to how useful those are. I rarely use them. But I do like this pocket. And on the front, of course, on the top left, you've got this small pocket. And I actually use that quite a bit. One of the big upgrades for this and for the Headway MLC in 2017-2018 is uh, the addition of a padded compartment in the back. And this actually serves two great purposes. One, you put your laptop in there and it's fairly well protected. It's not bomber, but it's pretty good. And two, it acts as kind of a back padding for when you've got the uh, shoulder straps engaged. And I actually think that these new um, zipper design on the back and the new shoulder straps are quite a bit more refined than the older versions. These, uh, they use Fastex instead of those little metal clips. The, uh, this older version used these metal clips that were, I don't know if you can see those, but they're, they're not bad, but I actually find this Fastex a lot easier to engage and a lot easier to deal with than the older metal buckles. I think the shoulder straps in the modern version are more comfortable. And then another great update feature is that this pocket actually opens up and you can slide all the way through it. So that if you have the black hole um, wheel duffel, then this can slip right over the top. And I can't imagine going too many places I couldn't live for several weeks with this much clothing in here. Um, I have carried my computer in here quite a few times. It seems to be pretty well padded, I like it. As far as the differences between the two, um, the black hole one is a little bit heavier empty than the headway one. Uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of differences. Obviously, the branding on the headway is a little bit more subtle. There's some pretty bold branding on here. Whether that's to your liking or not is up to you. Um, the interior on the headway one is still a contrasting material. It's a lighter gray. Um, so you can still find stuff. It's easy to see stuff once it's in there. If I had to assign a word to this, I don't know that this orange color is more useful, but it's probably a little bit more fun, I guess. And like I said at the beginning, I've, I found myself using this one a little bit more than the other one, just based on its waterproofness alone. In the back of the truck, you can throw it in the back of the truck and it can snow and rain. And I've never had anything get wet in it yet. So keep it up against the cab. It's generally out of the real weather. So. So if you uh, load it up, this has got a bunch, just a bunch of fleece and crap in there. And then a uh, computer in the back. You've got the shoulder strap. That's about the size of it. It's a fairly big bag. I don't know if I want to use this like in place of a briefcase or anything. It's definitely too large for that. But uh, for going away for a week or so and taking your computer with you, I think it's a great size. The shoulder strap is comfortable. It's well thought out like just about everything Patagonia does with the uh, shoulder straps. It looks like that. One neat thing about these shoulder straps is I do like how you pull up on them to tighten them and set it down. It's a little counterintuitive at first because most all backpacks pull down, but um, this seems to work well. It's got the sternum strap, which I hardly ever use, but anyway, that's what it looks like when it's on your back. Um, it's pretty comfortable. It's pretty comfortable to carry. Even really loaded down, it doesn't get too unwieldy. You could obviously put too much stuff in it, but. Uh, as long as you keep it manageable, it's a comfortable bag. So there you have it, Patagonia MLC, both in the uh, black hole version and the other ballistic nylon the headway version. Great bag, one of my all-time favorites. Thanks. Hey, it's me, Quinn, Stray Photo. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Click on like and subscribe if you're so inclined. Also, if you're into camera themed t shirts, I've got a bunch of really cool t shirt designs over at my Redbubble store. I'll put a link in the description. I've also got a bunch of really cool stickers there as well. Thanks.